Hey guys, this is the episode 5 of the Arc Dev Kit series, and today I'll be teaching you how to play around with the collision of your static mesh. So, just go ahead and open up the Arc Dev Kit. I already have this set up, so that way this is a quick video, because it's not, it's really not that hard. So you want to open up your static mesh, and you want to go to, right now we have no collision, you would see a box around it with collision clicked, if you see off, on. But we don't have a collision there, so it's going to look the same either way. Go to collision. You can add any of these. So a sphere. It does with all that. You won't be able to access any of that. So that's not what, that's not something you'd want for this. A box collision that would definitely work. Uh, this is the block box collision, and let's go ahead and. So that would work for this. Remove all collision. So something that will, uh, you'll have you can have like a tight collision, like no matter what, like it could be a triangle, any type of object. Auto convex collision, which is already open right here. Uh, press. You can keep it like this. The more you up it, the more accurate it will calculate. But for this, this should be okay. You don't want to go too high because it starts making the game laggy if you place too many of the object. So that should actually work pretty good. Just go ahead and save it and we will <laughs> test it. So it's not as good as like for if you're doing just like the foundation like I am, it's it's really it's just good to use the box collision, but see like this still works. But there's probably just some spots here and there that are a little little off but it works perfectly fine especially for uh, if you're doing a triangle or just some weird shaped object or like a vase even you say say you're doing a vase it will complete it'll the collision will be perfect if you use that okay um sorry the screen probably went black that's just me doing that control delete thing so the next step is a little bit more complicated. Say you want no collision, but you still want to be able to. Here, I'll show you. That's not what I meant to go to. Say you want to have no collision. Remove all collision. And you want to. Alright, cool. Look, no collision. But you cannot access it. You cannot delete it. You can't do anything like that. So, what you would want to go ahead and do is open up your blueprint, go to components add component add a box okay so you'll you'll start up here you want to scroll down until you hit right here and none of this will be here but I have mine open so it'll just be like this you want to go to custom it'll open everything you want to change the collision enable enabled to collision oh, <laughs> collision enabled uh, the object type to structure uh, you want to click this right here you want to so that way it ignores everything you want to but you want that to ignore everything but you want to block structure structure any and you also want to block usable only go ahead and save that so it's still not right, but that's just because that doesn't, you have to actually place a new one for it to show up. So we'll place a couple and now you can access it and you can still walk through it so that if for some reason it's not showing up, you can try to make your box. See how small, okay, you probably can't see it at all. See how small this box is? You don't need it to be big. But you can go ahead and try to make it close to the size, which would be about, the scale would be about 5, I'm assuming. Yeah, about 5, and then you can lower it. It doesn't really matter, it can stay there. Save, and go into this, and so if for whatever reason you really wanted to make foundation, whatever you're doing, I'm sure you don't want to make foundation see-through, but say your object was stackable, or you had the snap points, you can still use those snap points, like we did. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's actually the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.